Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Caitlin Page, and this is my first official full-length video. In today's video, we're going to be looking for the esteemed maitake mushroom, which is a delicious edible mushroom that grows in my area, northwestern Pennsylvania, in the fall months. This is generally a cooler species. You're going to find it fruiting anytime from August to September to even October and into November. Now, I have a good feeling. I've been out in this area the last couple of days. I found a couple of large ones yesterday, and today I found at least three, but unfortunately they were way too far gone. Now if you're new to foraging, maitake mushrooms are a very easy beginner's mushroom. Nothing quite looks like a maitake mushroom, and it's very highly unlikely that you're going to mistake this mushroom for anything else. Maitake mushrooms are also called hen of the woods. Due to their coloration, they almost appear to look like hen feathers. They can be a little bit difficult to spot on the forest floor, but I tend to see them growing in association with oaks, mainly living or dead, as well as well-decayed stumps. I'm hoping to give you guys a good overview of the maitake mushroom today. We're going to go over the identification features, where you can find it, etc. Come join me on the Mica Vault and discover the strange, unusual, and beautiful world of fungi with me. All right, guys, so we're in luck. Can you spot the Hen of the Woods mushroom? Because it kind of blends into this background. Well, if you couldn't spot it, it is right here in front of me. You probably have a good enough eye. This is a gorgeous small specimen of maitake, also known as Hen of the Woods or Griffola frondosa. Griffola frondosa is a polypore mushroom, as denoted by the pore surface that's underneath here. So when you find this mushroom, you're gonna wanna look underneath, make sure that there aren't any gills. Now, this mushroom loves to grow at the base of oak trees, and this is a big old living oak tree right here. Now, you might also find this mushroom growing at the base of decaying and or dead oak trees as well, or you might find it on dead stumps. This mushroom basically is both a saprotroph and a parasite. In its saprotrophic stage, it is decomposing matter. In its parasitic stage, like in this case, it is associating with a living tree, where it's likely stealing some nutrients from this tree. So it's kind of an interesting dynamic that this is both a saprotrophic fungi and a parasitic fungi. And a lot of polypore mushrooms, when they get older, they get very tough and they lose a lot of that moisture content. This particular specimen is extremely fresh. It's very moist to the touch. And if you were to flip this mushroom over, you would see that it is completely white underneath and that it has a white spore print. Now, a spore print can be taken pretty easily. You would just take a little bit of this mushroom home with you. You can place that on a piece of paper and you can wait 24 hours to see what the color is. That's a really good ID feature for any mushroom is the color of the spore print. A lot of mushrooms can be denoted by their spore prints, especially for beginners. And if you're looking at something and you find something else that looks a lot like it, you can take a spore print because a lot of mushrooms have different colored spore prints. I was in this area yesterday, so I assumed there was going to be another maitake in this vicinity. And I'm probably gonna leave this one here because this one is a little bit small. These mushrooms can get pretty large in size if you let them grow. But if I were to take this mushroom home, I would just gently scoop it up from the bottom here. I probably wouldn't really use my knife out in the field. However, uh, once I took it home, I would definitely put this in a cold bath of water. Just let the bugs and general dirt kind of escape from the mushroom. This is a pretty clean mushroom, unlike some other mushrooms, like if you're familiar with the cauliflower mushroom, cauliflower mushrooms grow right through the duft and they'll collect leaves and sticks and whatnot. But this particular mushroom does not do that. So it's a very clean mushroom. It doesn't require a whole lot of cleaning, but a lot of little bugs like to hang out inside of it. It's like a bug motel is like what I like to call it. I think that covers about everything in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring the woods with me today. I would absolutely love to hear your suggestions for future videos in the comments below. This is very new to me, so I'm always happy to improve and make better videos for you guys. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to do so if you are a fungi lover and or fungi nerd like I am. I offer up a lot of funny videos with a lot of information, so I would really appreciate you guys checking out the rest of what I have to offer. And I encourage you to get outside today and look around your woods. You never know what you're going to find. Thank you guys, and I hope to see you in the next one.